Hi guys, it's a quick look at looks like song by the baby. We got this main riff going throughout the whole song, and on top of that, I'm just gonna be showing you one chord progression uh, in an easy way. No need to play bar chords, no need of capo, standard chaining. So let's get started. The first chord which we have is a C sharp minor. I'm playing the chord. I'm just having my index on A4, my ring on D4. I'm sorry, D6, pinky on G6. Middle finger on B5. That's it. Keep the top E and the high E string major. Don't have to play the full bar chord. Then you just have triads of A major. You play open A. You have 7 on D, 6 on G, 5 on B. So that's it. No need to play top E and high E. You bring it two frets up, but in this case, you put your thumb on E7. The A string is made it. So E7, A made it. D9, 8 on G, 7 on B. High E string here, that's a B. The chord progression goes like this. This basically is from the chords out. Do I don't hear any chord progression? I mean, any chords going, but still, you can just play this. See that? And I say I'm for the main riff. What we're gonna do over here is. I'm playing uh, the C sharp minor pentatonic scale. I'm playing nine on top E. Then I go for on the A string. It's 11, 12. Then I play D10. I'm sorry, D11. So we have. And then I go to the G string. I play eight, nine. So we have. Then I play eight on G. So we got, and then I play 11, 9 on the D, so we have, then I play 11 on A, and then I play a 9 on D, 11 on D, then I play on the A string 11, and then I play E9, that's it, that's the first riff, so it went like that. A bit slowly. Right? The second riff is pretty same. We start off doing the same thing till this much. It will be same. But after that, it goes a bit different. So we have 9 on E, 11, 10, uh, 11, 12 on D string. I'm sorry, A string. So then 11 on D. Then you have uh, 8, 9, 8 on the G string. Then you play nine, 11, 9 on the D. Again 11 9 on the D string, then 11 9 on the A string, and then you play uh, on the A string 11 12, and then you play top E string 12 fret, and then you end that with 9 fret on the E string. That's it. So we have second part of the riff, same, different. Right? That's pretty easy. Oops. Uh, let me jump. I'm going to be playing it for the last time a bit slowly. So we have.
That's the whole song. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what other song but that we're just gonna learn on the guitar. Bye.